Emery of Cyprus, Emery of Lozignon, before 11551 April 1205, erroneously referred to as Amalric or Amari in earlier scholarship, was the first king of Cyprus, reigning from 1196 to his death. He also reigned as king of Jerusalem from his marriage to Isabella I in 1197 to his death. He was the younger son of Hugh VIII of Lozignon, a nobleman in Poitou. After participating in a rebellion against Henry II of England in 1168, he went to the Holy Land and settled in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. His marriage to Escaiva of Ibelin, whose father, Baldwin of Ibelin was an influential nobleman, strengthened his position in the kingdom. His younger brother, Guy, married Sibylla, the sister of an heir to Baldwin IV of Jerusalem. Baldwin made Emery constable of Jerusalem around 1180. He was one of the commanders of the Christian army in the Battle of Hattin, which ended with decisive defeat at the hands of the army of Saladin, the Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria, on July 4, 1187. Emery supported his brother, Guy, even after Guy had lost his claim to the kingdom of Jerusalem according to most barons of the realm, because of the death of Sibylla and their two daughters. The new king of Jerusalem, Henry of Champagne, arrested him for a short period. After his release, he retired to Yaffa which was the fief of his elder brother, Geoffrey of Lozignon, who had left the Holy Land. After Guy died in May 1194, his vessels in Cyprus elected Emery as their lord. He accepted the suzerainty of the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry VI. With the Emperor's authorization, Emery was crowned King of Cyprus in September 1197. He soon married Henry of Champagne's widow, Isabella I of Jerusalem. He and his wife were crowned king and queen of Jerusalem in January 1198. He signed a truce with al adili the Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt, which secured the Christian possession of the coastline from Acre to Antioch. His rule was a period of peace and stability in both of his realms. Emery was born before 1155. He was the fifth son of Hugh VIII of Lozignon and his wife, Burgundia of Rancon. His family had been noted for generations off crusaders in their native Poitou. His great-grandfather, Hugh VI of Lozignon, died in the Battle of Ramla in 1102. Emery's grandfather, Hugh VII of Lozignon, took part in the Second Crusade. Emery's father also came to the Holy Land and died in a Muslim prison in the 1160s. Earlier scholarship erroneously referred to him as Amalric, or Amari, its French form but documentary evidence shows he was actually called Americus, which is a distinct name, although it was sometimes confused with Amalericus already in the Middle Ages. Runciman and other modern historians erroneously referred to him as Amalric II of Jerusalem, because they confused his name with that of Amalric I of Jerusalem. Emery joined a rebellion against Henry II of England, who also ruled Poitou, in 1168, according to Robert of Tarragnais' Chronicle but Henry crushed the rebellion. Emery left for the Holy Land and settled in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He was captured in a battle and held in captivity in Damascus. A popular tradition, which was first recorded by the 13th century Philip of Novara and John of Ibelin, held, the King of Jerusalem, Amalric, ransomed him personally. Ernoul, whose reliability is questioned, claimed, Emery was the lover of Amalric of Jerusalem's former wife. Agnes of Courtney. Emery married Eskida of Ibelin, a daughter of Baldwin of Ibelin, who was one of the most powerful noblemen in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Amalric of Jerusalem, who died on July 11, 1174, was succeeded by his 13 year old son by Agnes of Courtney, Baldwin IV, who suffered from leprosy. Emery became the member of the royal court with his father in law's support. Emery's youngest brother, Guy, married Baldwin IV's widowed sister, Sibylla. In April 1180, Ernoul wrote, It was Emery who had spoken of his brother to her on her mother, Agnes of Courtney, describing him as a handsome and charming young man. Emery, continued Ernoul, hurried back to Poitou and persuaded Guy to come to the kingdom, although Sibylla had promised herself to Emery's father in law. Another source, William of Tyre, did not mention that Emery had played any role in the marriage of his brother and the king's sister. Consequently, Many elements of Ernoul's report, especially Emery's alleged journey to Poitou, were most probably invented. Emery was first mentioned as Constable of Jerusalem on February 24, 1182. According to Stephen Runciman and Malcolm Barber, he had already been granted Thophis shortly after his predecessor, Humphrey II of Turin, died in April 1179. 
Historian Bernard Hamilton writes, Amory's appointment was the consequence of the growing influence of his brother and he was appointed only around 1181. Saladin, the Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and Syria, launched a campaign against the Kingdom of Jerusalem on September 29, 1183. Emery defeated the Sultan's troops in a minor skirmish with the support of his father-in-law and his brother, Baalian of Ibelin. After the victory, the Crusaders' main army could advance as far as a spring near Saladin's camp, forcing him to retreat nine days later. During the campaign, it turned out that most barons of the realm were unwilling to cooperate with Emery's brother, Guy, who was the designated heir to Baldwin IV. The ailing king dismissed Guy and made his five-year-old nephew, Guy's stepson, Baldwin V, his co-ruler on November 20, 1183. In early 1185, Baldwin IV decreed that the Pope, the Holy Roman Emperor and the kings of France and England were to be approached to choose between his sister, Sibylla, and their half-sister, Isabella, if Baldwin V died before reaching the age of majority. The leper king died in April or May 1185 his nephew in late summer of 1186. Ignoring Baldwin IV's decree, Sibylla was proclaimed queen by her supporters and she crowned her husband, Guy, king. Emery was not listed among those who were present at the ceremony, but he obviously supported his brother and sister-in-law, according to Hamilton. As constable, Emery organized the army of the Kingdom of Jerusalem into units before the Battle of Hattin, which ended with the decisive victory of Saladin in July 4, 1187. Along with most commanders of the Christian army, Emery fell into captivity in the battlefield. During the Siege of Ascalon, Saladin promised the defenders that he would set free ten persons whom they named if they surrendered. Emery and Guy were among those whom the defenders named before surrendering on 4 September but Saladin postponed their release until the spring of 1188. Emery remained a loyal supporter of his brother even after Guy had lost his claim to the Kingdom of Jerusalem with the death of Sibylla and their two daughters in the autumn of 1190, according to most barons of the realm. Guy's opponents supported Conrad of Monferrat who married Sibylla's half-sister, Isabella in late November. An assembly of the noblemen of the realm unanimously declared Conrad the lawful king on April 16, 1192. Although Conrad was murdered twelve days later, his widow soon married Henry of Champagne, who was elected king of Jerusalem. To compensate Guy for the loss of Jerusalem, Richard I of England authorized him to purchase the island of Cyprus, that Richard had conquered in May 1191 from the Knights Templar. He was also to pay 40,000 besants to Richard who donated the right to collect the sum from Guy to Henry of Champagne. Guy settled in Cyprus in early May. Emery remained in the Kingdom of Jerusalem, which was reduced to a narrow strip of land along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea from Yaffa to Tyre. Henry of Champagne ordered the expulsion of the merchants from Pisa from Acre in May, because he accused them of plotting with Guy of Lozignan. After Emery intervened on behalf of the merchants, the king had him arrested. Emery was only released at the demand of the Grand Masters of the Templars and the Hospitallers. He retired to Jaffa that Richard of England had granted to Emery's eldest brother, Geoffrey of Lozignan. Guy of Lozignan died in May 1194, and bequeathed Cyprus to his elder brother, Geoffrey. However, Geoffrey had already returned to Poitou, thus Guy's vassal selected Emery their new lord. Henry of Champagne demanded the right to be consulted about the succession in Cyprus but the Cypriot nobleman ignored him. Around the same time, Henry of Champagne replaced Emery with John of Ibelin as constable of Jerusalem. Emery realized that the treasury of Cyprus was almost empty, because his brother had granted most landed property in the island to his supporters, according to Ernul. He summoned his vassals to an assembly. After emphasizing that each of them owned more land than he had, he persuaded them one be one either by force, or by friendship or by agreement to surrender some of their rents and lands. Emery dispatched an embassy to Pope Celestine III, asking him to set up Roman Catholic dioceses in Cyprus. He also sent his representative, Rainier of Jbael, to the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry VI, proposing that he would acknowledge the Emperor's suzerainty, if the Emperor sent a royal crown to him. Emery primarily wanted to secure the Emperor's assistance against a potential Byzantine invasion of Cyprus, but he also wanted to strengthen his own legitimacy as king. Rainier of Jbael swore loyalty to Henry VI on behalf of Emery in Gelnhausen in October 1196. The emperor who had decided to lead a crusade to the Holy Land promised that he would personally crown Emery king. He dispatched the archbishops of Brindisi and Trani to take a golden scepter to Emery as a symbol of his right to rule Cyprus. 
Cyprus. Henry VI's two envoys landed in Cyprus in April or May 1196. Emery may have adopted the title of king around that time, because Pope Celestine styled him as king already in a letter in December 1196. In the same month, the Pope set up a Roman Catholic archdiocese in Nicosia with three suffragan bishops in Famagusta, Limassol, and Paphos. The Greek Orthodox bishops were not expelled, but their property and income was seized by the new Catholic prelates. Henry VI's Chancellor, Conrad, Bishop of Hildesheim, crowned Emery King in Nicosia in September 1197. Emery did homage to the Chancellor. The nobleman who owned fiefs in both Cyprus and the Kingdom of Jerusalem wanted to bring about a reconciliation between Emery and Henry of Champagne. One of them, Baldwin of Basin, Constable of Cyprus, persuaded Henry of Champagne to visit Cyprus in early 1197. The two kings made peace, agreeing that Emery's three sons were to marry Henry's three daughters. Henry also renounced the debt that Emery still owed to him for Cyprus and allowed Emery to garrison his troops at Jaffa. Emery sent Reynald Barlet to take possession of Jaffa. Emery again used the title of Constable of Jerusalem in November 1197, which suggests that he had also recovered that office as a consequence of his treaty with Henry of Champagne. Henry of Champagne fell from the window of his palace and died in Acre on September 10, 1197. The aristocratic, but impoverished Raoul of St. Omer was one of the possible candidates to succeed him. But the Grand Masters of the Military Orders opposed him vehemently. A few days later, Aladili, the Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt, occupied Jaffa. Conrad of Wittelsbach, Archbishop of Mainz, who arrived to Acre on 20 September, was the first to propose that the crown should be offered to Emery. Since Emery's first wife had died, he could marry the widowed Isabella I of Jerusalem, who was the queen. Although Emer, Patriarch of Jerusalem, stated that the marriage would be uncanonical, Joshues, Archbishop of Tyre, started negotiations with Emery who accepted the offer. The Patriarch also withdrew his objections and crowned Emery and Isabella King and Queen in Tyre in January 1198. The Cypriot army fought for the Kingdom of Jerusalem during Emery's rule, but otherwise he administered his two realms separately. Even before his coronation, Emery united his forces with the German crusaders who were under the command of Henry I, Duke of Brabant, to launch a campaign against the Ayyubid troops. They forced al adil to withdraw and captured Beirut on 21 October. He laid siege to Turin, but he had to lift the siege on 2 February, because the German crusaders decided to return to the Holy Roman Empire after learning that Emperor Henry VI had died. Emery was riding at Tyre when four German knights attacked him in March 1198. His retainers rescued him and captured the four knights. Emery accused Raoul of St. Omer of hiring the assailants and sentenced him to banishment without a trial by his peers. At Raoul's demand, the case was submitted to the High Court of Jerusalem, which held that Emery had unlawfully banished Raoul. Nevertheless, Raoul voluntarily left the kingdom and settled in Tripoli, because he knew that he had lost Emery's goodwill. Emery signed a truce with Al Adil on July 1, 1198 securing the possession of the coast from Acre as far as to Antioch for the Crusaders for five years and eight months. The Byzantine Emperor, Alexios III Angelos, did not abandon the idea of recovering Cyprus. He promised that he would help the new crusade if Pope Innocent IV excommunicated Emery to enable a Byzantine invasion in 1201, but the Pope refuted him, emphasizing that the Byzantines had lost their right to Cyprus when Richard I conquered the island in 1191. Emery kept the peace with the Muslims, even when Reynald II of Dampierre, who arrived at the head of 300 French crusaders demanded him to launch a campaign against the Muslims in early 1202. After Emery reminded him that more than 300 soldiers were needed to wage war against the Ayyubids, Reynald left the Kingdom of Jerusalem for the Principality of Antioch. An Egyptian emir seized a fortress near Sidon and made plundering raids against the neighboring territory. After al Adil failed to stop the emir, Emery's fleet captured 20 Egyptian ships and he broke into Al Adil's realm. In retaliation, Al Adil's son, Al Muazzam Isa, plundered the region of Acre. In May 1204, the fleet of Emery sacked a small town at the Nile Delta in Egypt. The envoys of Emery and Al Adil signed a new truce for six years in September 1204. Al Adil ceded Jaffa and Rumla to the Kingdom of Jerusalem and simplified Christian pilgrims' visits in Jerusalem and Nazareth. After eating excessive white mullet, Emery fell seriously ill. He died after a short illness on April 1, 1205. His six-year-old son, Hugh I, succeeded him in Cyprus, and his widow continued to rule the Kingdom of Jerusalem. 
Historian Mary Nickerson Hardwick described Emery as a self-assured, politically astute, sometimes hard, seldom sentimentally indulgent ruler. His rule was a period of peace and consolidation. The lawyers of the Kingdom of Jerusalem especially held him in high esteem. He decided to revise the laws of the Kingdom of Jerusalem to specify royal prerogatives. John of Ibelin emphasized that Emery had governed both Cyprus and Jerusalem well and wisely until his death. Emery's first wife, Eskiva of Ibelin, was the elder daughter of Baldwin of Ibelin, Lord of Mirabel and Rumle, and Rich Elda of Basin. Their children. Emery's second wife, Isabella I of Jerusalem, was the only daughter of Amalric I of Jerusalem and Maria Comnain. Their children. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.